Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special edition of Podcast and Chill. It's been a long time coming, man. I was telling him, like, I feel like he's a part of the furniture because we're always calling him on the Monday show and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, he's family. Yeah. He's his family. Please welcome Cizwe Alkanai. Don't lie, nigga. I'm the only one willing to take your calls. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to take your calls. <laughs> True caller says, ah! <laughs> What's happening, dog? You good? Chilling, bro. Yeah. I'm tired How did you come up with the good. name Caesar Alkaline? Man, it's so hard to pronounce, bro. Alakine. 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 Do you know what it means to Alakine? No. PH and whatnot. No. No, that's, that's alkaline. alkaline. Okay. To Alakine is to Ashkarine. Is to what? To Ashkarine. What's that? Ashkarine. What's to Sacramine? What's to Sacramine? To rock. It's to Ashkaravine. What's to Ashkaravine? To Shivarine. Shivering. Dog, I'm old, dog. <laughs> Sh- Shivering Chanda Paul. <laughs> it's some Soweto slang, actually. Um, it's some Soweto slang that uh, the brews like uh, like swinging when they're talking. Um, but how we landed on the other kind. So let me tell you, when I when I started doing these Yanos things, I was like, no, there's no way I want to do this as reason. I had made that decision. Yeah, so yeah. I don't want to do this. Good decision. I can't yes. do this music as reason. Good. Reason is a e. special box, you e. know? Yes. So then I start telling everybody I'm going as Caesar. In the beginning, I just wanted to do Caesar. I just wanted to use my name yeah. to say, "This is me. This is about me and the and the and the hood me, the real me, the ghetto me, everything all in one." You know. Yeah. I then uh, word gets out to Pori. I spoke to Tuli and I said, "Yo, Tuli, I need a session with Pori." Tuli Lok. Yeah. Tuli Lok. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's Pori's manager. Yeah. Oh. So I hit her up and I'm like, "Yo, man." Um, I've been doing some of this, you know, Yano stuff. I did some stuff with Musa Keys, Tyler. I want to work with Pori, you know. Can you please send him the stuff and see? This is me begging now for a session with Pori. Yeah, dope, yeah. She hits me back. She's like, yo, man, Pori says the stuff is nice. Everything's cool. But um, he says, this is where it's not enough. You know, it needs to be seized with something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It can't just be seized with. Yeah, you know wow, what I mean? Like, man. give us... A surname or whatever, you yes. know, and then and then they started going with it, and I started realizing it's Durban Gogo, Dali Wanga, Lady Do, Sir Trill, you know, uh, Young Stan, Oli Mpura, Mpura Mpura, Mpura Mpura, yes, even the one Mpura wasn't enough. He had to get out of there. So we spent like a good Mpura, three weeks. Mpura, yeah. Mpura, Mpura. <laughs> you don't know the song. <laughs> so we spent like three weeks trying to figure out what we're going to put at this thing. Though. Three weeks? Fana, going okay, back what, and forth. What are some of the, the, the surnames you came up with? Yo, well, I wanted to use Mafutela as well. Oh, because that, that used to be like an alter ego of mine back in the day when oh. I used to rap in Venek. Caesar Mafutela. Caesar That's Mafutela. But then, uh, I, but then there's a poet called uh, who uh, Mavutel or something mm. oh no no oh, it was Cesar Makafula then I thought fuck there's another there poet a called Makafula Maca- then yes. I said Mavutel and then I thought Ish, Mavutel is like uh, it's very surname yeah. you know oh, it's yes. very actual surname like, I might as yeah. well be it. I might as well Tazel. use my surname <laughs> you know so we came up we came up we came up well so then I get introduced while I'm in the Yanos. I get introduced to this language. How Ashkaravine, Ashkarine, Petit Sekrimaim, you know? How you have you heard when 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 focalistic said, Oh Nakitom Sekrimaim Yes or when Sir Trill says, Loy Nangzam Ashkarina hey, You know, yeah. so that's the lingo. Oh. So that's the lingo, you know, oh. and it means nothing. It's like right now we're Ashkarining an interview, we're Ashkarining wow. the grandeur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your your grandeur got Ashkarined. <laughs> 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 So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, Alakine was one of those, you yeah. know? And where it popped up was in one of the sessions I was having with Pori, there's a line uh, that Mpura comes in where he goes, Alakine, 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 mm. Matuman, 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 it's a man, it's a man, it's a man, it's a man, Kalamine, mm. Kalamine. Hey, so I was whoa, fucking with Kala that Alakine, 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 yeah, the song is called Miss Kalamine. Wow. Yeah, so yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> So I was like, yo, this Alakine sounds like a vibe, you know. Yeah, also, it sounds yeah. like it's a shout out in the record, you know. Yes. And then the next time I bump into him, I'm like, yo, dog, I'm rocking with Alakine. He's like, ah, I saw him been done. So he cool. actually came up, well, not came up with it, but I stole it from yeah. Mpura wow. in a rap. Wow. And I figured, dope, and little did I know it was problematic. 
In hindsight, though, I really wish I went with Sizwe Lebaka. Lebaka. So Lebaka is your surname? No, it's reason. Translated. Oh, oh Lebaka. Yes. Hey, how? Much, and Mutipa Remo. keeps calling me about this. He's like, why didn't you go with Lebaka? I'm like, dog, I thought about no, it. No, but it sounds like a name. It sounds very formal. I like hear you. Some, I hear you. Like corporate shit. It's just now when when you're hearing the alkaline. <laughs> <laughs> alkaline. Everywhere is alkaline. Like I've even accepted alkaline. When you say alkaline, I say hey, what's up. Yeah. There's no a hey, alakine. No, it's yeah. fine. You, Allah, you so it's alakine. It's alakine. Yeah. Okay, got mm. it. Remember that, so ne? No, no, I've been remembering it. I've yeah. been knowing it. Bro, is it true you're Tonga? I am Tonga. Wow. Hey, hey, for real. Yeah, Wapula I can show you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the Tonga and the vendor. Let's see. Let's settle this today. The Tonga and the vendors are here. Let's lay it on the table. Make way, make way. Move out. I think we might need to go outside for this one. So how come you don't you don't rap in in, in, in Tonga? I don't know how to speak it, man. I'm um, uh, I was raised I was raised with my mom and my grandmother. Yeah. You know, so I didn't grow up with my Tonga family. And even my my family, my dad's family predominantly speaks Swati anyway because they're from Pumalanga. So your dad Very was few, Tonga. He was Tonga. Oh, and your mom? Yeah, my mom is Tonga. Tonga. Yeah. Oh, okay, clean. So uh, I was I was hardly exposed to Tonga. Yeah, hey. and know? then Zulu because you you know, yeah, Zulu is quite. Good. I, I can't really say I was exposed. It's not really Zulu because there'll be Zulu bruise who will just say, I say, yes. I say Zulu, yes. yeah, Zulu, yeah. Zulu, not yeah. Zulu, Zulu, Zulu. So I, I think it's township lingo. You mm. know? Casital. Yeah, yeah, it's Casital pretty much. You know what I mean? Um, because I, that's where like, I can mix them up. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm in the Sutu side, Zulu side, get a bit of Kosa, get a bit of Pedi. Mm. You know, also mm. Tembisa does not give you a chance. Mm. You know, Tembisa is like a mixture of languages. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just, it just depends which hood you're in. Yeah. If you grew up with the Pedis, that's yeah. you. You, brother. Which hood were you in? I was in Mao King section. Yeah, yeah. So there was a, a lot of petty people, petty Zulu people. Yeah, because, yeah. Dude, how was your childhood? Because I heard like, yo, it was, it was, shit hit the fan, man. Like it was crazy. What? My yeah. childhood was awesome. I For was real? rich. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, um, I, I, yeah, it was a, I guess it was a tough childhood in the sense that I wasn't rich. I didn't grow up in a wealthy family or whatever. Yeah. But, um, my parents were 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 in business, you mm. know, we business puzzle shop. Mm. Staying some Oh, before that, my my dad was actually into carpentry. Oh, dope! You know, mm. um, he was he was passionate about carpentry. He was into it, but he felt like the money was too slow, mm. and he wanted to go into into business. So he he opened up a shop. You know, um, that that went pretty well. You know. Um, Took me to really good schools, mm. you know. Mm. Um, th- but it was very basic. It's not like I was I was boiling. You mm. know what I mean? I'd be at Eden Glen Primary, yeah. you know, but my dad would show up in the Fox. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know those vibes. <laughs> well, my, well, my friend's dad gets, yeah. shows up in a BMW. I used to tell my mom you know, to park that fuck, side. I'll walk nah, you. Yeah, nah, dog. My dad, <laughs> my dad would be the first nigga out there. <laughs> You're the first guy out there. That's if I didn't get. But also, I, gr- I I traveled with taxis a lot. Okay. So whenever he'd have to come and fetch me, it's like dance or disco or sports yeah, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And even then, it disco, have to my be dog. When last did you hear that? Primary yeah. school. <laughs> Dis- primary school. <laughs> yeah, discos. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We're at discos. So 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 so. I I, I mean, it it was like it was like a very very basic, very standard, very simple family. But like they really pushed for all of us to have like extra ordinary lives within that community you mm. know what I mean because there were other wealthier families yeah. within like the strip mm. yeah with the bottle would, stores yeah with the, the bottle things. stores and supermarkets that uncle that won the horses <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then killed everybody in two weeks <laughs> and had a triple story triple story <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. yeah. Maruze Kai was a killer my cheeps you understand so it was, it, was a, it was a very but it was it was it, you, they were hard working man it was mm. a hard working family pretty much spent every single day with my family man. is it true you had uh, pop with oil at some point ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a line man mixed the mixed the mixed the oil with gravy sauce so that period in my life it was that's a line from endurance yeah that was a period in my life when I was actually living in my grandmother funny enough yeah that was when I just finished high school mm. and um me and my dad had a fight so yeah. I decided fuck it I'm moving out so I'm gonna go live what with my grandmother what are you fighting about dog you're fucking young 
Uh, but the typical father nah, 19, son, 20. Oh, 19, 20, 18, 17. So, There's a lot of fighting here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You think you're that guy? Yeah. yeah. So I, I ended up moving, but also, also I was, I had a very, very uh, soft spot for Tembisa because that's where my grandmother was. Mm. You know, Tembisa represented, I guess, as a teenager, it represented like freedom. Yeah. Because yes. my grandmother Greatest was one of those people. Freedom. You could leave whenever you want to leave, come back whenever you want to come back. Yeah. You know, you can drink if you want to drink. You know, as long as you're waking up and you're cleaning in the house, mm. you wash the dishes, you guys make food. She was pretty much happy. So I just wanted the peace because my parents were strict. My dad was strict. Mm. My mom was strict. Then it took that one little incident, and I said, "I no, let me take a break. Let me off." Mm. You know. So while we, while we were there, I mean, after high school, you know, I didn't really have money to go to tertiary. Hundred you know? percent. Um, and also, my dad was just like, "No, I'm I'm not gonna break my back for these shitty ass marks." Yeah. Like, what am I gonna do? Get a loan for this E student? <laughs> People would think I was an A student, but actually I wasn't. Yeah. I was just yeah. skimming it through, you know? <laughs> Surviving. So I went, and uh, and then it was just me, my grandmother, and my cousin, um, and my uncle. Um, and, and that's what endurance is about. It's like that period in my life where only one person was working in the whole house. Mm. Uh, my pops was like, hey, man, you made your decision. You figure it out that side. You know, um, what I had, manger? yeah, kind of like survived with like a few um, uh, hype man gigs with Proverb. Oh, yeah. Few, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, outrageous records. Outrageous era. records, yeah, yeah. Because I had met him like when I was, what, 16? Shit. You know? So dog. when I, and, and, and it was like, Is I he started big moving. Yeah, at the time it was it was when they were head to head with Pro Kid. Okay. Because it was Proverb first, yes, who was yes, soaring. Yes. Then Pro Kid came, and mm. then they were kind of like head to head. But he was still good. He was doing lots of shows. He was releasing. He was having a really good run, you know. So I would, I'd be popping up there, doing being a hype man for him, being a hype man for Ntabi, mm. um, showing up at some of Optical Illusions gigs, you know. Because I also had that year to actually like build a name mm, you know so mm. that's that's where things were starting to come together but it was tough you know nobody was working proof of? me and uh me and stethoscope decided to bunk school one day who's stethoscope the producer stethoscope the producer stethoscope is a producer um could you what does stethoscope work on he worked on uh smooth. The, the book of proverb the he first on the proverb, proverb. remember when it rained yeah remember when it rained he he produced produced it. Yeah, he stethoscope produced, produced rainbow when it yeah rains. he produced that he made Shit, it i heard he left music ne? yeah he left music he's and into, went into construction he's into construction wow. in down in down project is his company wow. oh is that him yeah in down project oh, his company yeah. Yeah, yeah. he made the stadium the 50 million one <laughs> No, that's Ugala project. Ugala project. Ugala project. No, <laughs> it's not him. <laughs> so it's not digital vibes that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of my album, by the way. <laughs> oh, so <sweet>. digital <laughs> vibes. <laughs> Uh, what were we talking about? Proverb, <laughs> yeah, proverb, proverb, proverb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you proverb. met him? So me and uh, me and Instro, I mean, I mean, me and Stethoscope. I, I'd been working on a demo with him. Then we decided, ah, man, let's just go to FM. Let's just let them hear it. Ah. Just, just get feedback. It wasn't even any intent or whatever, whatever. Um, when we got there, we were shook as fuck. We were outside, you know, a YFM studios, the Rosebank, reception, me? Rosebank, Rosebank, yeah. right outside the Magenta store. Yeah. So we're chilling there. You see them walk out one by one. Fresh is walking out. Mm. DJ Monday walks out. What's mm. Shook, 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 shook. Then at the end of the show, Vana would have Proverb walking out. And mm. He walks out, and I look at his tear, and I said, "Yo, dog." Let's get this guy, dog. That's the guy. <laughs> so now we rush, we rush with him. We go down those stairs. We say, dog, we don't want to bother you. We just want you to listen to this shit. I think, weirdly enough, I even had a diss for Salvin in one of the day <laughs> And he was tight with Salvin at the time. I don't know what was going into me. But anyway, <laughs> I was battle, 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 battle. He goes in the car, he bumps it, he bumps it, he bumps it. He's like, oh, this shit is fresh. It's actually quite dope, you know. Um, but I'm a rapper. I can't do shit for you. Mm. You know, what you need is a label. Mm. So, yes. <laughs> funny story. He says, no, go to Rage. Um, Outrageous Records is in uh, is in Norwood, mm. right? We're in Rosebank. So we say, okay, fine. He says, go there. You know, ask for Zeno, ask for JJ, ask for Battle Cat, ask for any one of those guys and play them your stuff and see what they say. Cool. The way he explains it is like, so you're going to go catch a taxi to Louis Porter, 
and then just go up the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you know you're there. Vana, I keep is big. I got to collect. Yeah, yeah. Report. Yeah. Oh. See, I ain't no wood. Yo. Hey, le, 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 le. In our heads, we keep thinking, ah, Musi like this. Yeah. You know, he gave us the street name and everything. Ah, we walked, bro. Then at some point, we thought, yo, man, it's too late to catch a taxi. Let's just walk. Yeah. Now we're walking. We walk. Dog, we walked that whole entire strip, only to find proverb there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Same day. <laughs> Shooting head rush. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you could have given us a ride. <laughs> you could have given us a ride. But when we pulled up, he's like, oh shit, you were serious. All right, cool. These are the niggas you got to meet, Joe. You got to pay attention to these kids. Listen to them out. And just because we, we showed up, he was like, okay, fine. You're fucking serious. You yeah. Know? That's how I met the whole collective. Wow. Pretty much, you know. Wow. Um, and then I ended up just riding with them because there was that thing in, in high school where you had to job shadow. Yes, right? yes, You yes. had to job shadow somebody that you... Yes. And remember back then, if you wanted to go into music, you had to study sound engineering. 100%. Oh, yes, you had to go yes. study sound engineering. Well, yes. that's what everybody did, mm-hmm. you know? So I said, uh, okay, I want a job shadow proverb at YFM doing sound engineering during the breakfast show. And then I want a job shadow battle cat at mm-hmm. Outrageous Records in the afternoons. Is that how you got to do the three jingles oh, for, for Fresh's yes. show? Pretty much. I, that's how I got to do pretty much all the jingles. Because yeah. by that time, proverb was like, yo, son, I'm getting too famous. <laughs> you know, these other stations are catching heat. <laughs> They're getting mad that I'm dissing them on these jingles, so you gotta take the reins, baby. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I me, mean, I was angry. I was ready. Yeah, I ran onto it. Yeah, that was pretty much my come up. Fuck those jingles. Yeah. How do you get into bear rap? Because I know you and Saul have spoken about it vaguely on one of the other episodes. Uh, yeah, it was almost natural. Yeah, it was almost like the thing that came with hip hop at the time. Yeah, freestyling, battle rapping. You had to. You just had to. It's and you guys battle rap. Yeah, yes. we did. There we was did. a competition in uh, at uh, what was it? Club Monaco Club in Monaco. Melville. In Monaco. And but he That's was the one I wanted to remember the other day. Oh, it's sorry. Monaco, yeah. Someone posted, yo, tweet how old you are by by a club that you remember. <laughs> <laughs> it was Monaco, <laughs> Monaco. Opposite the, the spa in Melville. Yeah. Well there was a capella later, yeah. yeah. There was a competition. Mm. But he was signed. That was just like an underground unsigned guy. I think there was Pear's yeah. Mammoth Battles. There was Pear names it was Pear by himself. I think he called it. Oh damn, yeah, what's that? Because yeah. there was like thirty six rappers there, all oh. gunning for one prize. Yeah, that was his that was his Event. He should have stuck to battle rapping because the radio is not for no him. No ways. Mm. Oh, him. He should have stuck to battle rapping. Yes, Pep. Oh, is this you taking shots? Right nah, now? Oh, nah, right. nah, dog. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. The views expressed. <laughs> pep, 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 pep. Shots fired. <laughs> the views Ooh. expressed by Meg G. Spare notice I did not laugh. So people get into trouble for laughing. Like he has to play his songs. <laughs> of course. He's my friend, though. Smart move. So he's I'm my cool. friend. He's my friend. So who won the battle between you guys? I did. did. Fuck, you kidding me? Yeah, Kill him. Did. Yeah. I know it's hard to believe, right? Bro. <laughs> Even you can't believe it. Yeah. Nah. I used to be a beast. He did. How did how did Soul kill you? Soul was bad, actually. Soul was badass. We Four met. Slow rappers, to be honest with you. Yeah. If, any, if anything, outside of me. Yeah. And I wasn't there around Questa's battle era. But, like, I think outside of me, there wasn't. Four Slow was really where it was at. Yeah. You know, we used to go to Four Slowers. For a lot of those gigs, you know what I mean. Yeah. Kate Hong didn't really have uh, that movement. The no, culture, it was, it was no. always Togoza or Foslo. Mm. Even Leondale to a certain degree, because they had money for stages and whatever. But like about they were they were they would pop into Kate Hong, but Kate Hong didn't really 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 have that movement because Kate Hong was very bourgeois. Mm. You know, it was very fashion driven, yeah. designers, yeah. Kotani level. Yes. You know what I mean. Mm. So not a lot of rappers came from there, but Foslo was where. The heads were, you know, so these guys, even in, even in high school, because that's where everybody meets, really. Mm. A lot of the stuff that we were getting, we were getting from those brews. Mm. You know what I mean? It'd be guys from Force Law, guys from Leondale, guys from Clip yeah. Those are the guys who give you the copyright tapes, you know, Jakai the Motormouth, oh. you know what I mean? All those guys. Jedi you know, Jay, yeah, Jedi, Kendall, you know, Oz. Megahertz, the whole Ooh. crew, everything, you know what I mean? Yo, so that thing was boiling. Lift jacks. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm Mega so heads. glad I'm saying things that nobody knows. <laughs> nah, this is hip. <laughs> Hip-hop, yes, hip-hop, hip-hop, hip-hop. I know hip-hop, nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga. I know, nigga. In high school, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was just part of it. It's just something you just had to do. It's yeah. just something you had to do. Where were these battles happening? Like, like apart from Monaco, like... Is it like by the bus stop? Because I remember at Gandhi Square. Definitely Gandhi Square Yo. bus stop. Gandhi was big. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you would have like 
Germiston High and yes. Dawnview. They all meet at Germiston Lake and battle outside the school. Yeah. Or yeah. a guy from this school goes to Dinwiddie and then they battle outside the school. Also, 8 Mile was in, eh? Yeah, yeah. Two Tadas High. Yo, 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 yo. Everybody was battling, dog. <laughs> we had a league at my school, dog. Niggas put up money and everything, dog. For real? Yeah, dog. I took it. What's this? Jemiston <laughs> High, yeah? Jemiston yeah. High, dog. Vanna, it was hard, dog. That 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 good month in jail. Every, everybody was battling. But so then people w- must when's your big break? Because the first time I heard of you was do it like I can, like I can. I think that still goes down as my nah. official f- official yeah. into like commerce. Yeah. But a lot of people really refer to the jingles. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, I used to hear you on the jingles or or the early or the early stages of the, the hype magazine tapes. Yeah. Those hype mag tapes were quite dope. Yeah. Do we carry on when it's loud like that? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, is the sound fine? Because it's not going to stop. Yeah. Hey? It's going to go on, yeah. Should we carry on? It's not bad, it's cool. Oh, okay, oh, okay. cool. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <coughs> I forgot what we were saying. Uh, do it like I can. Do it like I can. Do yeah. it like I can does still go down as my official commercial yeah yeah what did it do for, for your career bro because like that song was crossover like why people knew it everybody knew it it's it's crazy because it's funny actually do it like i can kind of popped off because people thought i was american funny enough yeah yeah, yeah. i always oh. remind people of this thing like people don't bef- so so if you really think about it uh before do it like i can your state of crossover was from crossing over from being just a hip-hop guy to being a hip-hop guy that was liked by house guys. Yes. yes. If you're crossed over, it means, yeah, the house guys also like you now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. At that time, it was probably only Zabs who was like crossing over to the white stations. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And um, WHP. Mm, a little bit, yeah. just from the love. I, I think he was just crossing over to other stations. But it's like, there used to be a very definite thing of saying, this is black music and this is white music. Yeah. You know, there used yeah. to be a mm-hmm. very, mm-hmm. you know, that's why Mendoza was such a phenomenon. Yeah. You know what yes, I'm saying? Yes. Because it was very definite to say, black artists, you know, you're popping on all the black stations, you've made it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So Abu Pro Kid, they would kill it on like, YFM and all the hip hop stations and then they'd kill Ukozi and Tzoding mm. and whatever. So, you know, Squatter Camp did that, you know, where you're blowing up. and But it's like very little love from the other side. They'll just do it because, oh, well, you know, we want to entertain the other guys. Mm. With Do It Like I Can, it was just like, they they accepted it like I was Lupe Fiasco or yes. something. You know what I'm saying? Oh. They kind of just took it in like they thought I was this American guy who was just making this good quality music and speaking this nice English or whatever, whatever. So when guys started asking for interviews, in the beginning, they used to say, oh, wow, is, is he in the country? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's South African. <laughs> he's in the way. He signed to do me. So, wow, really? <laughs> By the time I'm on heavy rotation, it's too late. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> it was too late for them to go back. But like, yeah. um, that's that's really how that thing kind of transitioned into that section, right? But then immediately after that, that started becoming a trick because you got to understand at that time, if you wanted to blow up as a as a hip hop artist, there was still that talk of you can't do it without a bit of vinek. Mm. You have to have vinek. Mm. You have to add that vinekula. What 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 what? Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? If you're not pro kid, you're not gonna make it. If you're not coolie china, you're not gonna make it. If you're not, you know, that's why AKA used to do a lot of collaborations with, with the go- a lot the of guy, guys, yeah. really, to just like bring it back home. So everybody was in the effort of bring it back home, mm. and we were riding with yo man, this shit slaps. Yeah, let's it's go. Hard. It's, it's hard. It's, it's catchy. The the beat is nice. You know, also we were catching them because it was that old school. Do, 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 yes. do. You know, so everybody kind of like yeah. felt it was like, oh, this is harmless. Yeah. You know, then there's a little kid that's saying, do yeah. it like a case. Yeah. Like, oh, man, let's go. You know, <laughs> let's move. You know, yeah. then straight after that, we were doing Taku uh, Bone with KG. Then you're like, oh, this guy is such a cool guy. You know, yeah. but I became the white guy's rapper. Oh. If you really think about it, I got booked a lot in like, festivals yeah well Joe Big Day wasn't there at the time but like Opi Kopi okay. those people were starting to warm up to me 5 FM what what festival oh, that's where the, the money is the 94.7 yeah the Rock in the Days that's where I was I was moving towards it is dog there's no Erku Kai Petrol or a boy white people don't talk that trash language no 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 but but tell her that you've yes but then the tables turn after a while 
because I won that trick for a, for a while. When niggas were like, oh shit, this nigga cracked it on the other side, you know? Yeah. I mean, the only other person who was that close was AKA really, mm. you know, AKA or even do me if you want to call mm, it that. Yes, but, Luigi, yeah. but then we just went full throttle onto the other side, you know? Mm. So then, but what you started to see what happens like after maybe like a lot of my mind and your, 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 just before we hit like bump the cheese up now, mm. oh. what I was starting to look at, I was like, oh man, at all these gigs, Cooley's there. Yeah. But he's leaving and going to five other ones. Oh. So I'd bump into everybody at all these gigs. I bump into everybody who was hot on the scene at the time. 2012, 2013, mm. 2014. Mm. There was no gig you'd never see me at. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. But the problem is, you are, that's, for me, that's probably one of two gigs I'm doing that day. Ah, Cooley has seven mm. or five. Mm. He's leaving there. He's even performing at 2 p.m. because he's got another situation to handle in Rustenburg mm. at four. Mm. Then he has to leave Rustenburg and go to Kronstadt. And, you understand? Mm. So then I was like, damn, man. Mm. Why does this look like this white money is stone money, man? <laughs> you need to get some of this black money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this black money is moving dog. my <laughs> niggas got like five gigs today you know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. he's tired as hell I yeah. saw him yesterday as well Shit. so you start looking at those things and you say I know chief we need to monopolize we so what was move. the track that did that for you bump the cheese up the switch it might have been uh, but before bump the cheese up I think that was keep debiting as well somewhere there between bump the cheese up and keep debiting yeah, you know because yeah, yeah. you know the first people forget the first issue when he came to be rap came to becoming a rapper yeah. was getting booked into clubs mm. that was the first issue do it like I can wasn't really getting me into yeah, clubs yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. a lot of my mind wasn't getting me into clubs mm. they were getting me into actual festival bookings and, and shows yeah. where I could show up with 37 and he had his MPC and it looked pretty normal yeah. It made sense, you know what I mean? But then it was the, the, the trick of getting into clubs. So that's when I started collaborating with DJs. So I mm. did collaborations with Switch, oh. did collaborations oh. with Fnatic. Smart. That was me getting into clubs. And then that's what that's how uh, No Sleep came up, you okay. know, because I was like, fuck, let me just go for Thieves. He's yeah. the promoter, right? Yeah. Let's just go for that guy. Yeah. Yeah. So we go, we do that as well. Um, then there was the trick of, fuck, how do I get into the hoods now? Mm. So now we so like, thing ah, has yo, layers, dog. Ah, dog, yeah, people don't understand. Yo. The game is, the game is, had its layers and its challenges and it's because you know what's so twisted is it's so, it, ever so often I have conversations with KO where he's like around that time you know he wasn't popping yeah you know uh, 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 what's this uh, what was it uh, not cash time tear gas tear gas tear gas was just was dipping you know and he yeah. was like yo I was chilling at the crib watching this fucking American ass looking ass fucking, fucking <laughs> motherfucker killing all the shit that we were put out you know yeah, yeah. so like there was a lot of errors and a lot of trajectories and a lot of mm. moments where you know like rap was hot yeah. you know or Vanek was hot mm. or mixing your music with traditional music was hot mm. like South African hip hop has gone through so many cycles mm. and ever so often you had to deal with it you know and adapt ah then came Cuesta ah hey. ah yeah, yeah. Move. ah then murder ah now we gotta rap and now we gotta do quiet oh, <laughs> second album ah, right fuck. Fuck. now we gotta the make quiet one. Part two. <laughs> Shit. you know what I mean now I gotta bring out my hotel so those are the things that you you, you, you we, I was constantly in that wave of trying to like take this reason thing and make it work in the system all mm. the fucking time because technically if you look at the brand it's an outsider brand it's mm. not Venek it's not cheesy it's not senseless mm. I'm telling fucking stories I've got punchlines I've got metaphors I've got sure. amazing music I've got chords I've got strings I've got uh. everything I'm not working with hot producers I'm working with my boys mm. you know what I'm saying so I was like an anomaly mm. in, in all those cases so I constantly had to be finding creative ways to just stay within the system why did you leave to me why did you leave to me's label ah uh, yo oh, we, we had a we had a really bad fallout we had For a really, really? Oh, yeah we had a real really, yeah the fallout was really bad and it wasn't even really directly with him it was it was it was more I need um, a poor drink for this one. It was more Bradley, yeah. It was more Bradley. It was more his Brody partner. Bradley was the partner, ne? Bradley, yeah. But Bradley. we're cool now, but we're cool. We like we fixed it. Bradley yeah. DJ Bionic. Bionic. Yeah. Bionic. Bradley. What was the wow. Ah, dog. Artist label stuff. Mm. I've never really had great relationships with artists. But you know, artist labels money is the is the combination of all combinations. I mean, is that not what history teaches us? That <laughs> artist label money is a very big fight. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. a fight we're all good now yeah, you yeah. know let there be lots of money or very little money yeah. and then it'll start to crack you know tell me about so No Sleep going. man because I think for me that was one of the biggest songs that you ever released man No Sleep Jeez, so don't you think so so all in all there's no sleep it is what's okay Anna. what's your le- you here okay, you, uh, yeah, you, according to you yeah. bump the cheese up funny enough bump the cheese oh yes but bump, bump the, the cheese, cheese up, up was big No Sleep remix was big because of the verse yeah 
really but bump the cheese yes. up was actually a, was one of but the wasn't that songs. like more of a gimmick because it had tallest small no? tallest small yes yeah. yes yes jeez <laughs> <laughs> no, no come on that, that was just the aspect that was it like was gimmicky. It's so, but the it's song so was crazy good. we needed something yeah because we yes. are hard on this song bump oh, the cheese oh, up we like yeah. tell the you know bank to what what like we angry we like who <laughs> <ooh>, some like <laughs> You know what I mean? We were mad, dog. I remember even through me being in the studio, I'm like, oh my God, how are we going to sell this shit? Yeah. I said, let's get a comedian. Yeah. Let's just Smart. get a comedian. So that was your idea? Smart. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always wanted a comedian. It was actually supposed to be Tip Shampoo mm. in the beginning. Then we started talking about which comedian to get. And at the time, Toilet Small was really popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then we decided to go with Toilet Small. Shit, mm. man. Yeah, but that, that's technically like the, one of the biggest records so at this drop. time what are the because like you said you're an outsider what mm. are the guys popping at the time saying you know your aka's your caspers are they fucking with you or it's just like ah nah dog so i've generally had like a really cool relationship with everybody yeah you know what i mean um and uh, i think i think when it comes to the reason brand it was it's technically all a surprise it was always a surprise it's like guys who rap like this don't make it Yes. You know what I mean? Guys who True. rap like this don't True. get on radio. Guys yeah. who rap like this don't get rotation. Guys who rap like this don't get hits at all. You know what I mean? There's no there's no room for that, you know? Um so generally everybody has always had a sense of uh respect, I guess, yeah. to a certain degree. Um cuz also the Cuz you did the impossible. Yeah, I guess to yeah. a certain degree. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it, it's like <clears throat> Damn, dog, that nigga made it. Yeah. Just, yo, you inside now. Yeah. Well, welcome, let's move. Yeah. You know, I, I did a few songs with AKA as well. We did like a couple of remixes at the time. Oh, so you wrote um, for him. Okay, I was cool. touring and I was working. Huh? <laughs> no, man. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not write for Keen. <laughs> what an idiot. We're not Keen. <laughs> I'm writing for him. You could never write for Keen. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you think you could write for Keen? <laughs> yeah. But um, no, 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 no. Like everybody was very welcoming. I think it, it also became a thing. Mm. It's like, oh, there's this cool aspect of hip hop that kind of came about. Because shortly after that, remember, if you really think about it, that's when, after that time, that's when you started hearing the Twadas mm. and the composures mm. and the... You know what I mean? Like the God's will. Yeah. And, and, and you know what I mean? Like I thought it was a beautiful after, era, after, man. Yeah, I think after Reason came into the game, you started hearing guys like, yo, like actually fuck this nigga. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and that's something that I've even heard vocally come from, 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 from KO. That's why I was saying we've had this conversation where he was just like, damn, this, gig, this nigga's really making it because he's rapping. So when does the depression kick in, bro? Yo, 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 yo. Because it yo, sounds yo, like yo, you're yo. flying high, man. Uh, you know what? In hindsight, coming ha- ha- having having had to think about it, uh, what's going on there? Why are you hiding, Chief? You can just fix it. Yeah, you can just. Why are you hiding? <laughs> yeah, don't hide, man. Just the hide. sound, man. Just fix the sound. <laughs> I think the first time, and, and what the and fuck did he just do? He just, he just moved it <laughs> just to me. Like, I think it was Thank a bit of mic. Yeah, yeah. I hide it, my boy, my boy, my. I'm also moving it a lot, my bad. <laughs> so I think. Uh, in hindsight and it took it took a lot of conversations to actually get to this reality mm. the first issue was uh Jesus Christ I woke up one day and decided to release a cover where I put two asses on Jesus or on white Jesus Jeez. right Whoa. there was that artwork that I put out for that freestyle I don't know if you guys remember that I think no. I remember there that. was that artwork Fake that I put out yeah yeah oh. you know, you know, and, I, and I said Jesus is coming you mm. know Ooh. Um, Right, Just so that was the first. And they say I'm controversial. Of, Damn. I talk. <laughs> don't. don't. I've never put two hands on Jesus Come Christ. On. On. <laughs> Nobody has. Not even me. Because that wasn't Jesus. That was definitely not Jesus. That yeah. was white Jesus. Yeah. So anyway. Oh. Any, and 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 here's the thing is what I what I learned about that time was I started to understand uh, the, the 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 seriousness of of speaking or playing on imagery or concepts of philosophies that people strongly believe in mm-hmm. you know and at the time i was running with my logic which is ah man this is not jesus this yeah. is white jesus yeah, yeah, yeah. you know also it was an image i found on the internet mm. but nonetheless you know the the metaphor around it was uh, i'm i'm the tainted version of what jesus is because the whole concept was if you live in life you have to be christ-like 
right? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes when yes. we live as a Christian, you have That's to be Christ like, right? Yeah, yes. Christian. But when I look at myself that. in my Christ like state, it's me, it's alcohol. Mm. So I see myself as an image of Jesus with alcohol, girls, mm. whatever. If I really wanted to go full throttle, I would have had more shit in that mm. image, you know? Mm. But at the time, I just put up the concept of just like I've, I'm surrounded by. Ass. women or whenever ass, you whatever. want like Jesus, whatever yeah you yeah, can well, turn the other cheek so 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 that backlash oh, okay i don't know about that <laughs> jesus i'm glad you're laughing though, no but I, you turn the, the other views cheek. expressed you're christ like you turn the other cheek gonna open this gonna. cheek <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey! <laughs> Could you tell me, Jenny? I'm fag. I'm fag. I'm fag. I'm fag. And it's Steve. And it's Steve. Steve. <laughs> so anyway, moving right along. So, 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 so that backlash, I think, really, really hit me. I think yeah. that thing, because that was the first time people did not like me. Oh, people did not like anything oh, about me. Before snap. that, people had liked everything about me. They yeah. liked my music. They liked my conversations. They liked my interviews. Like yeah, my pictures. Yeah. They liked my shows. They liked my performances. And that was the first time people did and not like me. Social media, isn't it? yeah, yeah. This is what, yes. brother. I was having interviews on seven hundred two with pastors. You kidding? Whoa, bro. And at the time, I was married to a pastor's uh, child. Uh, a child. Mm. You know what I mean? My 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 wife at the time was mm. was a was a pastor's kid. You know what I mean? So I'd be on a TV show, and there'd be a pastor there who's colleagues with her with her with her dad's friends. You know what I mean? So they'd be yeah. like, yeah. And we know sis we're very well. We are very disappointed with this boy. Uh, we we don't know what's gotten into him. You know what I mean? I'm like, wow. And and in my head, I'm still on that, yo, man, as a Christian, you know, I'm just thinking, yo, aren't we moving with the lost soul conversation? Yes. Like, yes. maybe I'm the lost soul and you're supposed to help me exactly. and you're supposed yeah, to guide me back me. to, let's have a conversation, you know what I mean? So I was going through that and I couldn't believe it. I was like, yo, you guys are mad. Why are we not having a conversation? Because I did this to have a conversation. I wanted to have a conversation. Mm. I wanted to explain to you what this image was about, you know what I mean? But everybody was so mad and it was, it. yo, it was lit, you know? Mm. Like literally Monday, Tuesday. You understand? I dropped this artwork on Monday. The song is coming out on Friday. Ha! By Wednesday, it was shaking. Dog. By Wednesday, I was dealing with death threats. Now you lie. Yeah, I was dealing with death threats. You know, you know when Christians start saying, "Yeah, these boys are doing this because we're Christians. If it was Muslim, they would never. Because hey. they know we're not gonna do anything, so we must do something about it." <laughs> hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's yeah. inciting. So you understand what I'm saying? So Damn. I think. Now coming from the hood, you know, real nigga shit, you know, you try to be hard, you take it as a man, you know, ah, let me go with it or whatever, you go with the flow. But really, actually, it just fucks with you mentally. Did the song land? You get introduced. Not even, they didn't even give it a chance. Pe mm. I don't even think people even realize. People, Reason fans got to the song. Okay. Reason fans got to the work. And even though, before that, mind you, in my head, I was thinking about Reason fans anyway. The yeah. Yeah. I was making the artwork and the song and the stuff and, and the content for Reason fans yeah. anyway, yeah. you know? Little did I know that it was going to spill over to like Daily Sun because oh. that, that was my first Daily Sun Ooh. cover. You know what I mean? Like, Bro. Yeah, football is bigger. What? Reason disrespects Jesus. Kabang, it's time I'm letting my chips. We just stop that. Just stop my chips. One of my headline. One of my headline. So good. You understand? So I think that's where it starts to kick in, man. Getting introduced to that first level of like, like, like that first impact of high level hate, right? Then it started dwindling in into then the haters having a bit more power and a bit more ammo to say, sure. yeah, actually, man, fuck this guy. Hmm. You know, actually, fuck this guy and fuck everything is about. Mm. We like this guy more. Actually, we think we're done with you. Sure. Right? Then you're, sure. now you've gone from making music to, 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 to be in the space of the industry, to now making music to be in the space of the industry and to win the favor of fans again. Oh, you know? man. This is happening while you're going through a divorce. Yo. This is happening while you're losing, you know, your whole life as you it, know it. You want to rebuild something new. With, with the kids and yeah, the wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all of those things happened like in a year. You know what I mean? I think if you go back and listen to Audio Redefinition, anybody who goes back to listen to Audio Redefinition as an album of mine, you actually get to realize it was such a dark album. I was angry. I was hectic. You know, man. I felt like you. I was like this mm. in a corner. You know. Since your wife was like uh, the uh, the daughter of a pastor, did that ex-wife? Ex-wife, yes. Yeah. Did that trigger the divorce or there was other issues? Oh, no, there was other. other oh, there was other okay. conversations. Okay. It's because he was having an affair. But there with was love. 
Fuck you, man. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, no, let's keep, let's keep it. Fuck you're you are looting love <laughs> fuck you. outside of the relationship. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and she caught you. Is this the part where I get up and just slap me? Yeah. Like, What's a question you're happy with? What's a question you're happy with? What's a question you're happy with? I can say a port. It's 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 a port. Would you go through the comments? Because I know social media, bro, would have a field day with you, man. I would, man, because I also I I was also of the narrative, also like real nigga hood shit. Like, yo, if you can read good comments, why the fuck can't you read the negative mm. ones? Like, if you can openly accept someone saying, "Yo, dog, you're my best rapper ever," why can't you openly accept somebody who's gonna say, "Yo, you, nigga, you're the worst." Mm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, you you ain't yeah. shit. You know? Yeah. And what narrative but, are they pushing? But but at the same time, that's not healthy though. Yeah, that's actually not healthy. Yes, yeah, because. Uh, negativity uh, your body and your mind and your being responds very very yeah. differently to negativity 100%. as it does to to positivity, positivity. you yeah. know what I mean I can say wow this is a great show this is amazing this is lovely oh this is so dope and they say yo what's up with these books mm. and that's all you remember yeah is the mm-hmm. books mm-hmm. Yeah. you know exactly. what I'm saying so now you're going through a daily experience of niggas who hate you yeah. niggas who like you mm. and you only hear the niggas that hate you 100%. and that's depression mm. you know what I mean you can man up to it and be strong and move or whatever whatever but it's like a it's like layers and layers of ideas that keep having to give you more of a reason to so want to fight more more of a reason <laughs> <To do it>. <laughs> <laughs> at no point would you ever say fuck it I'm, I'm tired of these negative comments you just keep going back for more and more dog mm. it's like a whirlwind of negativity mm. you understand what I'm saying it's almost it's almost like and I, I mean I can't relate it exactly like it is because I've never been in one but I'd, I'd like to believe it's almost like an abusive relationship sure. when you keep telling someone get out Yay. and they yes, can't yes. you know because you somehow have a love-hate relationship with this thing because at some point you also keep thinking no they're gonna change hmm. these people are gonna change they're gonna they're gonna realize that actually they're mistaken like I make fucking amazing music I make you know what I mean but I'm a good guy but did you ever meet someone in person who said that was the weird part I've never, I've never met anyone who said I was shit how crazy I've never met anyone that, who it's always shit. like that bro it's always never, like that bro I've never like met that. anyone who said I was shit ever and what's the narrative they were always saying that you broke right broke uh, up and coming artist for 10 years shit man that uh, hurts. just you saying that hurts <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> Your wife is the breadwinner. Oh, hey, that is the breadwinner. That narrative has been pushed, eh? You know what I mean? It's, ah, dog. And, and, and it's so sad that you actually have to come out of it to realize it for what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's like, dog, even, even I would say anything for likes. You know what I'm saying? Anybody's mm. going to say anything for likes. And, bro, my heart and that's what sank, it is. Bro. Yeah, dog, you deal with that type of shit all the time, dog. That time you are googling hard, dog. You're trying to put your shit together. Sank. You're trying to make everything make sense. You know bro. what I'm saying? And you also have to restore the faith within your own space. You know, you got to feel like a real nigga. Then some fucking whack-ass motherfucking nigga called Flex Rabanyane also shows up and thinks he can hey, say something. Flex. Oh, there's also a slick talk that feels like they can say something. You hey. actually, you actually start feeling like it's like Lin Tuala Masipa. Something shop in Bama more sometime. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, but that's like not the energy. It's like you're you're feeling or you have been, you know, built up to be in this zone by people who actually don't give a fuck. They actually just say that shit. And then they just move on with their life. Yeah, you were they the target for the day. Get yeah. a few likes, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were the one. You were it for a day. You know what I mean? You, you. When see, did you realize that? Man, it took time. It mm. took time. It took time. It took therapy. It took conversation. But I think there was one moment actually. I don't know where people who who people were hating on, and I was like, "Yo, that's a good guy." I never thought I'd actually Yay. see people hating on a good guy. I don't remember who it was specifically. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, "Damn, yo, you guys are mad at him mm. for like, are we just saying this guy is?" Oh, so then you start to think, "Oh, it's a thing. It's like, a thing. Literally, oh, we bro. can just wake up today and just decide, hey man." 
let's dis Son. this nigga for his hair. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, let's have this nigga for his nose. Yeah. Yeah. Come for Lamise. Yeah. And Lamise doesn't bother anyone. Uh, Are you sure? Yeah, uh, tongue. No, no, no. You're a bitter ex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> And she doesn't come for anyone. <laughs> oh! 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 She didn't come oh! for him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she didn't come for you, brother. Don't be angry here. Don't oh, be man. angry here. Don't be angry. The Don't next run. time I see La Vista, yeah. hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm walking the other way. Hey. No, 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 no. Next time you see Cooley, we'll say thanks, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. Clearly you got it. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Oh, fuck, it didn't bro. really work out. And did you ever think about committing suicide at, at any point? Nah, I was never a suicidal dude. I was never. Yeah. I, I don't Beautiful. think I was ever suicidal. Mm. Um, and that's purely because I've got kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've never, yes, bro. I think it, whenever the thoughts is just like. Uh, that would really fuck my kids up and I think they would also grow up with that thing you mm. know? so I never I never considered suicide what were you doing at the time many things though, that I've considered was just like fuck this shit I'm gonna be a politician oh, you know what I mean because okay. I've got political ties in my family I can always just be a politician oh, I can always yeah, just go yeah, into yeah. politics oh. I could always just go into business I could always just go into other things Yeah, you know um, I, I literally and at some point I did I think when I was a about to have the twins I was more moving towards the space towards media for you know? real yeah, yeah I was yeah. doing work with Slick On Live oh yes 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 yes, 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 yes. so yes, I was yes. I was I was content producing and creative directing um, on some of the stuff that he was doing but I mean advertising is actually where I come from that's mm. what I studied so mm. at some point I did like kind of like off it a bit you know what were like you doing when you were depressed were you drinking a lot smoking weed nah man drugs? I just I just wasn't in love with uh, entertainment. I just, yeah. I just didn't like the scene. Yeah, man. Yeah, I just didn't want to be seen. Yeah. I just didn't want to go out performing. Mm. Going yeah. to gigs had anxiety. It's like, mm. oh, are they gonna fuck with it? Are they not gonna fuck with it? What crowd is it? You know, I'm performing at a club. Oh fuck, we don't have bangers right now. You mm. know, you start. It just fucks with your confidence. Just and the niggas change side, around you because yeah. you know when you're not popping, like you start oh. seeing the true colors. Oh. Very normal. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, real niggas became real niggas. That's real niggas game. are still it's real niggas. Yeah, exactly. But the rest was the game. And honestly, I was. Uh, it's not even. It's no hard feelings. Yeah. Like, uh, you get it. It's you. that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I feel you. Exactly. I feel you. It's, yeah. it's, oh, this is clockwork. You know, <laughs> this is the sign. Yeah. Now Pori comes, bro. Do you understand what I'm saying? How does Pori come in the picture, man? That's random, actually. Again, I get. I told you I was busy trying. Hey, can I please have a session with Pori? Yes, yeah, so you were doing can songs I, with other guys. With other guys, and, and, and those them, were like yeah. my demos to like get this meeting with Pori. So randomly, oh. funny enough, the 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 the, the it, it was this year. Um, my birthday is on the 30th. On the 29th. I was in the studio with Musa Keys. Oh, yeah. We're recording. We're fucking recording. amazing, Musa. Yo. Fucking, Keesh. fucking genius. Yeah, fucking genius. So I'm in the studio with Musa Keys, um, and uh, oh, we have to finish the session quickly because he's got a session with Pori. Okay. So I say, dog, I've been trying to get this meeting with Please. Pori. Yeah. Why did you just call him, dog? No, dog, because Pori is. You don't just call. You Lord, he's Lord Pori for a reason. I know Pori very well. Can, about WhatsApp, we all know Pori. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord Pori, Pori, Pori's not on WhatsApp. Don't we share nudes nah, and stuff. Don't lie, don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs> Pori's not on WhatsApp. He's not on WhatsApp. <laughs> he's not on WhatsApp. He's on wow. iMessage. So, <laughs> oh, I'm okay. So, yeah, which Pori might you have to? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you might just be talking to Matuman. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're talking to Pori? You know what I mean. He's a he's an artist, man. He's yeah. an artist. He he was also and and also he was he was in a space. I think that's why it was so hard to get to him, and that that why it was so easy for me to click because he was also going in a place of uh, trying to find uh, uh, isolation. Mm. Oh. He was in an isolation state of mind. He was trying to isolate himself because he had just gone through a bad incident as well. Yeah. You know, um, oh that's a cheating. personal. Yeah. So yeah, he went through a personal. Oh, you met him after the shooting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So 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 we kind of like meet number one at yo I'm I'm trying to like recalibrate my thinking that's that's what he was going through he had oh. gotten into this space he he left his house he left all the kids at the house everybody oh. that's talented and working he left them at the house find his own space and then he said you know I'm trying to realign I'm trying to get myself you know I what does life mean because yeah. you know yeah. you, he had a, a really yeah. close yeah. call yeah. Yeah. you know also looking at the people around him who nearly got affected yeah. he was really like he was going through some introspective shit oh, yeah. you know yeah. so he had 
just seen the light and it and and the light was in the music really it mm. was just like just quit the bullshit mm. just filter out the bullshit what like came here leave the bullshit and actually do what you came here for because exactly. we were starting to connect on the conversation around Beautiful. music is a calling dog uh, it can yes. be business all we want but yeah. really to calling. make a song that makes people feel a certain way connect a certain calling. way calling. and calling. yo dog it's a it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, you, you, like it's a it's ah, another world a bro when we listen yeah. to Kabza, I mean, fuck. Yeah, oh yeah you God, know what I'm saying. Right. You know what I mean. You can feel. So, so, so he was now. He was now. He was making those songs at that time. Shit. So you understand? He's making and 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 he was even talking about dog. Everybody I'm recording with is coming with this narrative. You know, uh, talking about you know our roots, our mm. ancestors, mm. where we come from. You know what I mean? And he was going through that where it was like you 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 know you get so caught up in the bullshit. You know, he got caught up in the bullshit on a on a nice side. Like, mm. It was about. The yes, life, yes. the money, Training the work, just okay, <laughs> all right, and then, uh, <laughs> and then you know he got the wake up call. Then he realized, yeah. yo, man, this thing is about music. Mm. You know That's what I mean? It. This is a calling. You know, so when I connect with him, he's just like, dog, you tripping over profile pictures Fuck. and 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 letters wow. like we're making music you know and people actually take this music and it means something to them you know what i mean so it was like yeah. that click where it's like dog all this stuff that's actually lying on you has nothing to do with what matters you know what i'm saying it's like it's got nothing to do with what matters yeah, it's it's bro. what really really matters is just produce the work and then align yourself with people who want to produce the work mm. with you you know what i mean and at that time there was very few and far between which is the other conversation is, you know, people are going through some sort of dip now, you yeah. know, hey, there's a hip hop crisis now. Mm. My brother, Tina, 2018, it was already tricky. Mm. You understand? We've been dealing with the fight of, yo, how do we get on radio? Or how do we make radio jams? Or how, how do we get, get how do we get how gigs? Do get how do we do? Gig? Yeah, that yeah. thing's been happening since 2018, <laughs> before lockdown. <laughs> Did you just say, how do you get the one gig? More than one gig. <laughs> yeah, how do you get more than no. one gig? No, that's a real thing. No, you know why, bro? <laughs> that's a real thing. <laughs> Reason. After dropping um, Kandashisa, he tweeted, we just did four gigs tonight. It goes, it less Yeah. And you could tell this is a person who's not used to that. Who's dog, it was tough. Yeah, man. And, and that's got nothing to do with what Bro, anybody else would be I used to cancel three to. gigs. Yeah? I used to cancel gigs. Ah, yeah, boy. Privilege. <laughs> yeah, boy. Privilege. Yeah, boy. All you bookers <laughs> <laughs> should have called me. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So it was at that point where it's like, I'm busy dealing with that. That's why I even had to go back into the media space and marketing because I was like, yeah. okay, I need to actually get my guap right. You know, can't lose the Bryanston life. Can't lose the what, what life, you know. But so you then, got a job? No, at the time I was working. I mean, I was still in the media space. Oh. I mean, generally I've always freelanced. Even now, oh. I still freelance for a lot of agencies. Oh, that really what do you do when you're freelancing? I'm a uh, culture specialist. Oh, dope. Culture. What's that? Culture. So uh, I pretty much bridge the gap between agencies and the culture to yeah. come up with like creative oh, ways of, okay. of selling products. Oh, you know? So if, I guess the best example we have of a, of a cultural experience between the culture and the brand would be Casa Light. So Where roto. a brand goes in. Eh? Le roto. You know, Jub Jub has Amarot on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's so a like that that's a rotten catch comment. cheaters though. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we doing here? Catching the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bump the cheese up. Roto. He <laughs> <You> fetched it. He <laughs> <You> fetched it. <laughs> So anyway, yes, I was a rotter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, so now, but like, uh, so now I was like, you know, focusing more on that because music, the music business side of things was not really hitting, the, you know, it was really shaky, you know? Um, but then that also was like moving like parallel with just my, like I was falling out of love with hip hop wow, though at man. the time, you know what I mean? Like I wasn't really enjoying hip hop. I wasn't enjoying listening to it. Mm. I wasn't enjoying bumping it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. at the time my ex was into R&B hard. I even mm. started listening to R&B, even mm. fucked around with some R&B songs. Like I just wasn't really feeling this thing, you know? Mm. And the only thing that I was really connecting with was this piano. Like Feel me? Oh. Dog, and let me tell you, you and let me tell you, and let me tell you, no, 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 I've been fucking with it since Shea, Sha, Geza, Masi, Yepati, yeah, babe. Because my thing about piano was, it, it, from the first time I heard a vocal on it, I just 
thought back to Kwaito. Oh, it just took okay. me back to TKZ. Yes, yes. And that's really what got me into rapping. You know what I mean? Hearing <laughs> those brews mm. rapping like Fana, TKZ, TKZ Family, Mdu, Brown Dash, mm. uh, yeah, Prix Maprigado. Yeah, those guys yeah. were like, they really, really convinced me. Like I was hearing Nate Dogg and all those guys. I said, mm. yeah, they, mm. they, they dope. I want to do this thing, you know, but the multiracial kind of took over, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I ended yeah. up listening to more of the, the M&Ms and the Busta mm. Rhymes and the DMXs. So I got stuck in hip hop. But yeah. really, really, really like, Kwaito was just something else for me. Mm. Like, I, I, I don't think people really understand like the passion I had for Kwaito, the respect I have for Makesh. Mm. Mm. The respect I have for Cabello. Right. Oh. It's just another level. You understand what I'm saying? It's like you listen. Oh, Zola. Oh, dog. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, my dad was like a Zola fan. We used to listen to Zola together. Wow. You understand? Oh. And we're always arguing. He's like, jazz is music. I'm saying hip hop is music because hip hop is not music. Yeah. But Zola was music. Yeah. That's why we it was like, okay, sharp. Yeah. You know, I'm there with my dad. 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 I'm there <laughs> you understand? Wow, man. So, 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 piano took me back to that thing heavily, which is why I like using my real name for this thing because mm. it really took me back to like yeah. something I really knew, like here, like on a personal level. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, also, when you're in high school, if, if you were in high school around the times we were in high school, I don't know if they still do it now. I'm a passage, uh, oh, yes. uh, uh, all those taxis. Yeah. Everybody had a taxi they went to school with and went yeah. back with. But so my number plate. Yeah. To be with NT. H, big neban ban, big neban ban, Casablanca, yeah. eh, Sister Petina, yes. all those songs. Like What's you that just song called Bacardi. 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 You know what I mean? That, that now you start the experience. Pitor, yeah. So now when I hear this thing popping off now. I'm being reminded by that. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, being taken back man. to that Nostalgic. era. You know what I mean? So that that's mm. what actually grabbed me with piano. Go to fuck. Yo, this thing has come back full circle and it's it's actually that thing that I really fell in Bro, love with. Bro, the first time we heard you on a piano track was the live you did with Pori. We actually played it on the show. Yes, yes, Fuck! yes, 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 yes I did. Hey, you were going ham, dog. Yeah, bro. I'm you, fine you, 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 you. Now you can officially call me a pianist. <laughs> <laughs> was what, was that the first track you did or this like that was one of many? Yeah, well, I mean, those are all the songs we did in that day. So, so, so anyway, I get to Pori's house the day before. Uh, he, him and Musa Kiza working, yeah. whatever. I'm chilling, I'm chilling. And you know, with piano, hey, uh, after the first one, when they work on the next one, are you in or are you out? If you're in the studio, you're either jumping on the song or you're not. Yo. I'm, jumping, I'm jumping on the song, Kishap. That's how you have five features. Shit. You oh. know, if you're gonna miss the song, the next song when they work on it, if you're gonna miss the song, you're gonna chill. Mm. Everybody's gonna work on the song, work on the next song. But there's about four songs that are produced in a night. Hmm. And it's wow. up to you which vibe you're gonna catch, which vibe you're gonna catch. So I happened to be there, uh, and and uh, who else was there? Uh, I think Shasha only came later. Mm. But Musa Keys was making beats mm. there with with Bori, you know, mm. so he make beats, Bori comes, adds something, mm. then he does something, then they're changing, so there's that balance, you know? Mm. So this whole time we're talking, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking. Eventually at some point then Musaki's had to leave and go to another session. So it's just me, Bori, um, yeah, Shasha was there, I think we worked on the first song, that's actually the song I want to drop next, actually. Oh, wow. The one with me, Shasha, uh, Musaki's, and Bora, actually. Mm. But anyway, oh. So anyway, uh, yeah, we have this debate, we have this debate, we have this debate. There by like two o'clock, uh, the gems start coming out now. Hmm. One by one. Hmm. We're just rocking. Hmm. Now we're just rocking. His songs, new songs. He's playing beats from other kids. Hmm. And you know how he is. He's got like all these exclusives from yeah. like Do TRP, hmm. uh, Soya. The he's Popa got guy. He's got Felo, he's got Melo wow, and Skizzy. Wow. He's got all these beats. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's that community. Everybody's sharing this music. So now when there's a session happening, he's like, yo, I want to get on this vibe. So we get on the vibes. Hmm. Another one comes in. We get on the vibes. We get on the vibes. We rock like about three or four songs, you know? Kandashisa's the last one. Mm. Kandashisa's the last song we made between six and eight o'clock in the Hectic. morning. It's my birthday, Chief. I'm in studio. Busy rocking songs there. Wow. No one of these I'm guys can't wake up for interviews. Yeah, it's so Dog, true. you see how tired I am? Too early. <laughs> Do you actually see how tired I am? It's this grandeur that's putting me away right now. Can sell it as more cartel if it's a grandeur. He's so good for a gang. Oh, <laughs> 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 Hey. I want to cut it like a 
<laughs> so it was it, it it was there but even then you know he he people don't understand i actually had to be a, a newcomer in this thing Believe it or not, as experienced and as as talented and as amazing as I am as a rapper. With all that you know, dog, you've been dog, in the game I'm for 20 you, years. Let me tell you something, you dog. It's again. not the fucking same. And mm. I'll tell you what's the most telling thing about it not being the fucking same. If it was the fucking same and if it was that easy, dog, you'd see a lot more hip-hop brews just jumping on this beat. Ah, because it was yes. so easy for us to jump on trap beats. Yeah. It was so easy for us to jump on Guaito beats. Yes. It was so easy for us to jump on any other sound yes. except for this particular one. It's not a fucking an easy sound to jump on. It's got its own language. It's got its own language. It's got its own rhythm. It's got its own it's flows. Do you understand what I'm saying? Bro. So it's so I had to like kind of like first it was th- the real person who really really got me into it and like really sold me into it. It was Bash's idea in the beginning. So mm. Jog, wow. Just switch to the dark side. Just see what happens. Boy, just try it out. Try. You know. Um, yes, Bash is well, managing Boiti as well. So yeah. he was saying, "Yo, let's go switch it to it." You know, and it's wow. funny. It was the day we finished Boiti's album. Mm. Wow. We said, yo, let's go celebrate. What do you mean we finished? What did you do? <coughs> I finished album? writing. Producing, co producing, oh. vocal producing. Roto. Roto. <laughs> vocal production. <laughs> okay. It's called vocal production. Okay. So I like that. We were celebrating. We said, yo, we, we wrapped this album. We were handing it in. Also, I'm, I'm listed as an executive producer on Boiti's album. So yeah. I oh. had to physically. I have, I'm responsible for handing that motherfucker in, wow. you know, on wow, time. Man. Otherwise, a yeah. you know, but that, <laughs> so we decided, no, let's go celebrate. He says, uh, my artist, he, there was one of the artists he was managing was playing at Altitude. Durban Coco was playing at Altitude. We went to Altitude. We were chilling there having some drinks. Durban Coco then decides, guys, Sosha Nguve. I said, what? I said, yeah, hop in the bus. Let's go to Sosha. Okay, I we chilled, we nice. Why not mm. hop in the bus? I dog that was a life changer for me. Dog. For real, wow. Wow, that thing was a life changer for me. Dog. Yeah, because being on that bus like just took me to a world where the Twitter doesn't give a m- fucking matter. Doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, dog. You're you're going to see people who are there to party. Yeah, you're seeing people who are there to groove. Real people. People who love the fact that you're Why just you there. Why you started? Why you started? Yeah, I've been. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? It's for people. Mm. You That's you realize it. that you're meeting people who are just they don't even know. I broke I broke up with my ex. It's yeah. like, oh, where's your where's 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 your life? <laughs> we tried this. I'm a loot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this guy really wants to get out the closet and rap. <laughs> He's in the rap closet. He wants to, he wants to come out. He's like, I want to rap. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I get exposed to like this other world, and 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 yo, North Life, and yes. it's different from yes. the streets. You know, yes. what I mean? in the north, yes. in the north, you're interacting with brews will sun you now. They got they got a car parked outside, yes. they'll sun you. Yes. They've got Fuck you understand. Up, you know, I, I'm, yeah. I'm just saying like those niggas are just like ah, I'm rapper. Yeah. Ah, lentonale. Bah, num ra. Bah, lentonale. Aftek. Gabon. It's a it's a different world Jeez, there. You, no you, you gotta show up with legs, bro. Yeah. You gotta. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta. You know. I. But now I'm in the road. I'm on the bus, and I'm and I'm seeing. And she had like four gigs. We're going to gigs. Dog, I ended up like an hour and a half out of Joburg. Shit. You understand? People who are rocking, and you understand what they're doing. It's about four o'clock in the morning. They say mm. we're going to another party. We're going to support Yo, this guy, eh. and that's the thing. Durban Gogo ended up going to a gig that Kabza was booked for. Wow. She's not wow. booked for, but she's just going there. Yeah. And they're just chilling, right? Yeah. We're buying piano hub t-shirts. Shit, We're bro. hanging out. Then everybody decides, let's all go to Jezik's gig. Yeah. Then everybody goes. Wow. Then you get experience to another mentality. Not his studio. Was a, the gig. A gig. Jezik's gig, not his gig. Okay. <laughs> you obsessed with Jezik's what, what's, studios. What's the issue? Yeah, he, tell he, you lo- he loves the studios there. So jello of air. Oh, I know fuck. I know it's good. 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 Play your song. I know it's good. What a man. <laughs> so, then that thing just makes me realize, yo, man, it's just fucking music. So, Dobin Gogo was the first person I used to send my songs to when I'd record them. Wow. Right? She was the first person to say, Reason, you're not working with a piano producer. I can tell. These boots mm. are not piano producers. Ooh. And I'm like, yeah, they're not. Mm. I'm just working with my nigga Jills. You know, he's a trap producer, but yeah, he knows yeah, how to do this but stuff. He's, she's like, he's good. Yeah. Nah, if you want to work with, if you want to do piano, 
get you piano proof. Right. You got to yeah. roll with piano proof. And I'm like, but I don't know these niggas. And she's like, okay, cool. Uh, I've got a session on Thursday, come. Mm. Right? That's when she was working on an album. And in the session, it was her, it was Musa Keys, Lady Two was there, Nobantu came through, Bushle was there. That was the first time I met Bushle before she was the Bushle that she is now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now I'm I'm in this space and now I'm talking to Dudu and I'm like, dog, Katalia, how do we get there? You know? So mm. she's out there like, dog, how are you confused? Me, I'm biting these flows from rap. Yo! She's like, yo, and she gives me the references. I'm like, you know what I mean? But like, I'm just, I'm just trying yeah, to put you through it. Like, it wasn't wow, like a, man. yo, I just became reason. Mm. And then I just decided, hey, let me activate this thing. No, just. Baba. I'm sure there's like some, some unmixed fi- files that Musa Keys will never touch again. Mm. Where we tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and tried, you know? Now, when I meet Pori, I meet Pori at a time where he's trying to rap mm. more and go harder yeah. more. And I'm trying to do the Yanos. Mm. So we are collaborating in this space where he's ah. feeding off of my rap energy yeah. and I'm feeding off of his piano energy. Sure. Oh. You know what I mean? And that's where we started like creating to say, actually, this thing is a wave. Because if you really think about it, I'll tell you now, there's no bigger hip hop fan we have in South Africa than Mapori guys. In terms mm. of fan. The swag. I you know what I mean? I he loves the that. swag. He yeah. loves the clothes. He, you know what I mean? He was the first to the Gucci, the clothes, the cars. Yes. You yes. know what I mean? And yes. he's, you know, he's not singing. Mm. You know what I mean? He's not, yeah, he's got lots of guys that sing, but his thing is, he, he wants to get on there and rap. Manga Pagamuzoi Sol, Sol, Kimi Ba, Ningos, Ningos, Nangam Dan, Yang Fun, Fun, Funinda, Bazai Sol. Come on, so. you understand what I'm talking about? Hey. This guy is really, really about this sound. You Do you remember when you first wrote that rap? Dog, <laughs> you don't. wrote song of the year I there. Don't. I wanna is all the boy. Ah, you wrote verse of the year. I don't remember when I wrote that one. <laughs> <laughs> when did I write that one? <laughs> nah, bro. God, when I wrote that one. Before, be, before you get, before we get into your writing, did you catch any smoke from the hip hop guys? Because you're now going into piano. Oh yeah. Nah. And you were like the hardest oh, rapper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got smoke. Yeah, hip hop is the most sensitive. Yeah, it is of man. all genres. I, I, don't, I don't get it, bro. <laughs> I think I get it. Man. Sorry, why? I don't get how you yeah, get rappers so are the most emotional motherfuckers. Dog. Yeah. Why do you think we got sixteens on sixteens just telling you about one thing? Hmm. I broke up with you because I don't love you. Just like sixteen bars, <laughs> telling a girl why you broke up with her and why you don't love. Her. I don't fuck with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? We emotional human beings, but there was a lot of flack. Even now, it's like. You know, it's not spoken. It's not obvious. It's not a. It's not a conversation. But you know, there's niggas who are just like, yo, what's going on? And how do you feel like, about Casper when he says, "I'm the one who first jumped on this." Now everybody's following this. But who? Casper. Who? In your vest. I don't know him. There was a thing where never he heard of him. where he said, "Oh, is that beef between you guys?" I don't never know. heard of him. Is it nah, beef? Nah, I don't beef for nobody. Nah, but I mean, he tweeted and stuff. What did he tweet? Sorry, man, I'm not on social media. What bro. did who tweet? I think he tweeted, but there was a Ooh. thing because he came for you because you, when he had s- done like short and sweet or whatever, my really? piano, apparently you were like, he's selling out. Really? <laughs> is this a real thing or is he capping? Is, he, is this a real thing or mm, is he capping? I read this. <laughs> I'm not casping. Is this a really thing? <laughs> no, <laughs> ah, come on. I'm not casping. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> That's what you said. You just, it's on the mic, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you got the mic like this, dog. I don't know what you're talking about. So, well, he, I personally, I, like, yo, I, I don't, dog, hey. That's a conversation I don't. I never want to have because I, I. It's a pointless conversation to me. Wow, bro! I didn't know that. Eh? It's a pointless conversation to me. It's a pointless conversation to me. That's that just went too far. That, that like unnecessarily. So it's just like I never even want to speak on it or speak about it yeah. or whatever. You know. Yeah. But to, speaking to your tweet, I think that uh, that time or that energy of people. Uh, having something to say about something that's going right yeah. in someone else's life is like it, just to either steer attention or bring it back to themselves. I think that is so 2015. Yeah. I think that is so hip hop 2015 yeah. mentality. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uguti, where now you're doing nice, or what am I doing? Like this. Oh, fluff. And Kurman, my fatty podcast, like TV. Yeah, I'm a These guys, these guys are always like, let's talk, bro. Why not speak? I'm a fatty. You can't speak, you're a fatty. Podcast and chill. Guys, no matter what I'm saying, I'm a fatty. 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 I'
Sebelum yeah. mawak awak. Dengan nama dengan nama. Dengan 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 nama. Angkara the best tu nak say. Gong gong gong. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like I, the, the, my thing is, you know, and and it's not even about an individual. It's just something that people do on Twitter. Mm, I think, yeah, you know, man. and maybe there could be one highlighted individual that does it all the time or whatever, but it's just like, man, you know, we can't we can't be sitting here talking about Oh, you know, uh, you've you've got a bottle, yeah. You know, like five years ago when I dropped my bottle, yeah. it was so hard. You know, bring it to you. It's like, Dog, yeah. like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, bro. like you know, I'm like, yo, that's some Peppa Pig ass shit. Yeah. Dog. Like me, 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 me. Like dogs, like it's yo, crazy, right? I like me nothing pumile da. Now it's puma da. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah, man. And it's just one of those where it's like I I don't even wanna talk about that mm, I, I, yeah. I just like do your own thing you know Each yeah own. Uh, uh, yeah <laughs> I think maybe for whatever it is that we have to talk about you yeah. know what I mean I don't know but like find out for me like my inspiration goes back to pro kid dog I don't uh, care what anybody says it goes back to pro kid pro kid was the first thing I saw going from battles to commercial to fucking Fnatic. making mass music mm. you know double HP went from battles commercial hip hop mass music Done. you understand I've seen Done. so many examples that went into that Questa a nigga from my own fucking hood was doing that right in front of me and I was like oh shit this is this is something that you do you know what I'm saying battle hard come punchline on, rapper dog. come on the hardest of the hardest so I don't know what anybody else would actually ever say mm. and also with the conversation around are oh, you a dogging ass when like when show me a tweet show me a post show me a line show me a verse Give me a a quote. Yeah, you know maybe we can give context to it, but maybe in your own head, I was expected to be the guy that says, "Yo, fuck those niggas," because I was saying, "Fuck all the whack niggas." Yeah, maybe. and even if you were talking them, you're allowed to grow up. I'm, I'm, I'm also yeah, but you see, this conversation, my thing about it is, it comes from a oh, sola, don't do anything I I feel lazy, busy, mm. and in my head, I'm like, actually not. Nah, I mm. give a fuck what you were doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we're moving Bro, on. When 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 do you decide to start writing for people? Pause. Yeah. What, what does do that mean? mean? No pause. What do you mean? Uh, never mind. You want you you to say pause, Jen? <laughs> <laughs> writing for them how? Like writing, like you write. Oh, writing! Yeah. I thought you meant writing. Oh, writing! Nah, oh, no, oh, nah. American! Nah. Hey, yeah. American school! Yeah. When do you start writing, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Tina says you're writing. <laughs> when do you start writing for people? <laughs> when do you start writing, dude? Like, you, you know, you wrote it. Uh, you joke. wrote it. Uh. <laughs> uh, when do you start? Uh, informally, back in the day, there was a lot of moments where I had to write like one or verse, one or two verses for like other guys. But yeah. like, it was very informal. Yeah. Um, where it becomes formalized, um, which one was the first? It was. It, it actually started with with with. Uh, who was it actually? I, I, the first person I wrote for was No Muzi. No Muzi. But even then, I didn't write the whole song. I just yeah. wrote a verse. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, I was in a space where I was coming up with ideas that I thought would be better for other people ah. other than myself, because I was also still in my state capture of fuck. Reason can't make a song like Keep this. Keep it real. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, reason can't make a song like this. Maybe let me give this song to this person. Or mm. fuck, reason can't write a song like this. Let me give this song to this person. So Shit. that was the first person that we, yeah. you know, I, I yeah. tried that with. Where I said, yo, here's a song. Work and it, it worked, out or whatever, And it worked, you know. Wow. But it wasn't that intense. And it's only with, with other artists. Then they start saying, dog, let's work on a whole project. Yes. Let's see you working through our whole entire project. How, 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 how do the split sheets work when, when you write for the artist? I just keep my publishing. Wow. But I'm a fair songwriter because yeah. if you contribute, I still give you your your percentage. You mm. know what I mean? Nope. It's just maybe five. So there's a shitload of songs out there that like, yeah. I know where you're going with this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Come back. Dude. You Come haven't back. had enough grandeur. <laughs> Take it down the rabbit hole. He forgot about the weed. <laughs> get him, get him the grandeur, then get him high. Oh. Then he might say something. What's the weed? What's the and weed? Then, What's the yeah. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna it. smoke weed on the show. I haven't smoked since the yeah, end. Yeah, we're gonna smoke weed now. Yeah, yeah, roll. Are we rolling? Yeah. But you don't have rolling paper. 
Ah. You don't have rolling stones. Mesh, we which one? Paper. No, mesh always has paper. Like, Man, I want to keep it Rizla. Yo, Rizla. It was Spanish. Take it raw. It was Spanish. Yeah, it was Spanish. It was Spanish. It was Spanish. It was Spanish. That's fine. I wanted to ask you, so, have you ever written a verse, right? Yeah. And it's so dope. You were like... I should keep this one for myself. Nah, oh. for real. Nah, you know, I, I I realized at a very at a very early point. I think I think coming in, my ego was was removed from the concept of songwriting and and writing for other people because it really comes from the reality of uh, if if there was ever any song that I wrote for or with anybody, um, me releasing it wouldn't have the same impact as. Mm someone else releasing it you know what i'm saying it's like if 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 it's like how i always say if yippie kaye was a coolie china song mm. it would have been bigger mm. like that, that was a big song yes. that's a good song but if if there that's was a, a coolie song. china song featuring aka and reason it would have been right yes. and that comes that comes from you being cognizant of the scoreboard if you're in a game and you're not aware of the scoreboard and where your where, where your where your where your numbers are sitting versus where the competition is sitting versus where you understand then you're playing like you like shouldn't a, be in the game yeah you shouldn't be in the game you're lying to yourself yeah mm-hmm. so i i was in that place where i was like yo this is fire but it would be much bigger if I gave it to this person. Yeah. Or this would be dope. It would be much better if I give it to this person. Mm. You know, um, is it lucrative? You, is there money in like? Yeah, right? man, it's, it's really good money. I mean, wow. it, 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 the indi- well, first of all, you gotta understand it's still new. It's yeah. still new. Like having rappers say, yeah. come to you and say, mm. "Mpalele" is yeah. new. Yeah. Which is why a lot of the people that I collaborate and work with have been uh, females. Yes. You know yes, what I mean? Yeah. Because they're, they're like accepted, they just yeah. down for like, yo, let's work. Yeah. Let's get yeah, this work. Exactly. Let's get yeah. this track out. No pride. You know what I mean? Saul is not going to let me yeah. like, no, no way. No way. Reason. <laughs> what? I'm Palele. <laughs> I no killed way. this nigga in high school. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Never. You understand? Yeah. yeah. But me in the back of my head, I'd listen to some nasty C songs and I said, dog, yo, eh. I'm not going to kill you. Hell no. Oh. I'm rapper word for word. Bro. Yeah. I'm going to kill you. And then I'm going to kill you next. 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 After that, you must, you must understand I can write. Yeah. But, uh, it, it 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 it's a new world in that I think me and whoever I'm working with mm. are starting to open it up in a sense that like dog that thing is done mm. you know what I mean it's like having to battle to get into the game mm. or having to uh, uh, be on some rep activity or mm. just to get in the game like things have changed mm. right yeah, now you know what I mean yeah. you don't even have to have a rap history mm. to get into the game you know, know what I'm saying yeah. Um, yeah yeah you just have to have some hard ass records yeah. good songs and then you're nice and good songs songs so yeah. i think it's only because it's it's a new world mm. that uh people are starting to warm up to it but it's lucrative it's yeah. very lucrative in a sense that dog if you happen to write that one song that that's blows like up, blows yeah. up and is huge that's royalties that's Fuck like for, uh, for that's life. publishing for life yeah. Yeah, yeah that's like eternal money Fuck, i wish uh, that, that i think that's the best because you don't have to face the scrutiny of the public no one mm. even has to know except you, for just you, get check, you keep trying to tell people <laughs> Shit. <laughs> just, you could just cap this shit right now. Let the ghost be the ghost. Yeah. Let the artist be the artist. Yeah. Stop doing that shit. I remember the the, the the one night I'll never forget when I was with you. Um I was wait, fighting wait, with wait, my wait, woman. Wait, 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 wait. What are you talking about? Did we talk about this? What, what is happening? Wait, last time I saw you, bro. We had fucked up nights before. No, oh, the last time you saw me couldn't have been that bad. Yeah, no, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, Jesus. Last time I saw you. What have you guys been getting up to? <laughs> this guy used to own a club in my hood. Bro. Oh, God. He used to own a club in my hood. So, yeah, let me okay. forget this enough, night. Fair right? enough. So, we buy Movida, Sunning Hill. So, I, I was fucking mad at my woman. So, I took a compulsory visa. <laughs> Whether she likes it or not, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> One of those. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I get to Movida. Same day, my nigga took a compulsory <laughs> visa. I did. Oh. <laughs> and we were chilling on Movida for like two hours. Oh. Talking Discussing about our compulsory <laughs> visas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a oh back and forth. Remember, dog? Oh my God. And the Haney was going compulsory in, Compulsory fucking <laughs> visas. This is why I think I'm going to be single forever. Yeah. You reckon, bro? Forever, dog. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, I'm no, I'm lying. Nah, I probably no but why did you break up with your ex-wife, man? You guys look like... got nothing to do with you, nigga. Yeah? You got nothing to do with you, nigga. But dog, you're a reality show. You can't say... You literally allowed yeah. the public into your home. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't allow them into that. I didn't allow them into the good stuff. 
And I'm allowed to do that. I'm allowed to invite people into the good stuff yeah. and leave you out of the bad stuff. How was recording the 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 the, the, the reality show? Because I got it was to know so you twisted. a bit more. It was so, so it, twisted. Yeah. You know, you know, we got canned. For real. Yeah, For we real. got canned on like the sixth episode. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> it's a me. Funny story. Why? Because we we were just not reality TV show material. We weren't controversial. You weren't giving them the bad things. We weren't fighting. Like, yo, Channel would sit us down and say, so uh, there's a lot of peace. You're they wholesome. do that. You're too wholesome. Reality TV show. Yeah, there's too much peace going on here. Mm-hmm. We really need tension. We really need to, you know. So now we're talking about, the show's called Rap Dads. Right? Yeah. And now that includes baby mamas. Yeah. Oh. So, you know, it's either there was going to be fights between me, my E, and El Tito. Ain't no way we were going to fight. Or there's got to be fights with us and our baby mamas. Oh, so it was like, man. and we were just some, like, oh, some we, can't, drama. we just can't do that. Mm. I mean, for us, what we really liked about the onset, because that was JR's concept. People don't know, actually. Oh, that was JR's wow. concept. That was JR's production. Mm. Wow. And I think how he imagined it and how he wanted to produce it from a reality TV show perspective was to actually show um, all the things that happen around a rapper. Because mm. at that time, we were kind of like the hottest motherfuckers on the scene. Yeah. But people never really understood, like, what do you do mm, mm, outside of these rap mm, songs? Mm, like, mm. how do you fucking do it? And more specifically, as a father, mm. you know what I mean? So how do you operate and how do you live, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So when we got sold into it, we were treating it like a documentary. Mm. We wanted to show, like, our businesses, our hustles, 100%. the things we were doing, the shows, yeah. you know, the things that we were trying to have, you know, and then, and then the channel was like, hey, yeah, you know, <laughs> Mm, you know uh, it's not Lenny it's not that one <laughs> too, too happy one. <laughs> imagine so some drama needs to happen some shit needs to pop off or we're gonna have to let go of this show uh, and imagine Channel like this said, podcast right? no. is too peaceful it's too peaceful yeah. <laughs> we need some <laughs> no 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 don't say Channel o. No, no 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 it wasn't necessarily the whole channel it was just the oh you're on Channel o. the specific yeah I think Rap Dad was on Channel o, right? Oh, what, shit. what was oh, it on oh, Rap Dad no, was man. on what was it, oh, was it Fuzu uh, Fuz. Was it Fuzu? I don't yeah. remember what it was. Not on. sure. But I mean, the, 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 you know, and uh, irrespective of channel, the person who was the head of content for reality TV shows at the time was literally, and they literally had to take us through because Dineo Ranaka was showing it all, eh? Yeah. Ooh. She was giving you the juice. Yeah. Yes. So they were like, so this is Dineo Ranaka. <laughs> oh. This is you guys. <laughs> How did we get here? Ah, yo, niggas are like, fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no, dog. <laughs> Niggas were like, what? Never. Yo, 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 yo. You're not going to see me in my Mazozi state. Yo. Like, yo, niggas was just like, fuck no. You know? And, yeah. and, and, and we tapped out. We tapped out. Shit, man. We tapped out. Uh, tell me, I know you don't want to talk about it, but just tell us how you made Loot Love. How did you met? met? Yeah, how you met? What part? I told you, niggas. Met. I told you, niggas, I don't want to talk That's about That's the that. good stuff. Mm. So, that... You um, um, tease um, um, we want to know how you met. Not how you met. <laughs> not how you were meeting. How? <laughs> um, <tease>. No. <laughs> you gotta at least tell us how you met, bro. How, how did you meet? Yeah. Ah. Ah. How you met? Don't um, shang in the we made it live, man. We made oh, it live. Yeah. Oh. We, made it live. Yeah. we made it live. She won the year I was the, the year do it like a can popped off. Yeah, with what? Yeah, it's the competition yeah, she where was, she got on a twenty twelve. I was uh that's when Do It Like I Can had come out. Um and how we actually met was uh I mean she was doing her thing and I was doing my thing. I was in sound check mode, yeah. she was in script uh reading mode or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. um uh, we were walking past each other and we, we said hi to each other and then she then let me know that her when her and Nomuzi were in the competition because they were in the competition together. I think her one of them Nomuzi was number one and, and number two. Not me. And no, no, no. I think um, was Nomzamo. Already. Nomzamo. Yes, it's Nomzamo. Oh, actually, Nomzamo. I, don't, I don't remember. Nomzamo was a runner-up, yeah. Oh, is oh. it? Yeah. Is so it? when it was yeah. the two of them, Nomzamo. yes, Nomzamo. I think, yeah, they used to go all kumbaya with uh, Do It Like I Can because that was like the motivation song. Oh, that was wow. the song. So she was just telling me that. It was just like, yo, I, I used to fuck with your song. Your song was the song that we used to play when we used to go into the competitions. I was wow. like, oh, shit, that's cool, that's cool. And then it was just that. Then we never even, we were just mutual. Yeah, you didn't yeah, yeah. see her as a potential then? Nah, I don't wow. know. Wow. I wasn't even thinking that. I just mm. thought, yo, that's a nice girl. That's a cool person. girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, but at the time, dog, even a, a girl liking your song was just big. Because <laughs> I come from that world where it's only niggas that <laughs> like your songs. <laughs> 
<laughs> Even worse on TV shit yeah. TV girl was playing my shit Yo you going home And like Yeah at least You made it now Yeah You know what I'm saying But it was It was it was very respectful I don't, I don't even think we We ever Considered that Until like a later stage In our lives Wow It was always at a later stage In our life Post marriage Yes 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 Motherfucker <laughs> So it was like at a later stage in our life. I don't think that was the first thing that popped up. I don't think that was the first. But I, I think organically it was just the, the, the synergy of, of hip hop. I mm. think on both ends it was just the synergy of hip hop. And she's a lover in her of hip hop. World, yeah, really. in, her world, hip-hop yeah. in the world of presenters, she was the most hip hop. And yes. in the world of rappers, I was the most yes. hip hop. So wow. I think yes. that's probably where the synergy oh, kind of like She's a great woman, man. Yeah, we actually meant to do a podcast together. And then what did you do? <laughs> Why are you <laughs> How did you fuck this one up? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just couldn't take it at the time. But she's amazing, yeah. man. Like, I really, really like her, eh? Nah, she's dope, dope. Seems a cool person. Have you ever met Lutlov? Never met Lutlov. Yeah? Dude. But, you know, how's it, how's it being single now? It's good, man. It's good. It's good in a sense. Like, I've, I haven't been single in, like, 15 years. You know that? For real? Like, yeah, I've, bro. It, 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 like, maybe, like, there's yeah. always, like, six months in between. Mm. Like, yo, man, I fall uh, yo, I fall in love, eh? Yeah, you're a lover. Yeah, I'm a lover of love. Yo, dog, I fall in, in love. I, I get consumed by the person that I'm with. Like, it just happens so quickly. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I like I like having someone, you yeah. know? But, like, uh, what, what's been good this time is just really seeing myself for myself yeah you know yeah. Wow. it's always easy to to dismiss other people's perspective of you yeah you know because of what you have in your own head mm-hmm. but if there's nobody else around you you yeah. only have your own perspective of you yeah. you know what i mean so wow. yeah so, so i think that's just what i've been dealing with and, and and just trying to like fix my life in such a way that i can take all that dedication sorry all that dedication and all that love that I would give to Someone another else. person's child to, to music. into my own, mm. you know what I mean? Into my own children. Mm. I think I'm even trying to, I'm trying to set things up in such a way that I can actually have that type of relationship with yeah. my kids. You know what I mean? That Beautiful. whoever comes into the world is coming into the world with me and my kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna take my time. Oh, no. I think I'm gonna take dog. my time. Uh, unless it's, sh- yeah, unless it's never mind. mind. Unless it's who? Never mind. No Muslim. Mm-mm. You smashed it, eh? No, man. Trade exchange. No, man. A verse for... Sis, man. <laughs> Stop it. And sis for thinking that. <laughs> Not sis, man. I mean, sis for thinking that. No. Yo, bro. Uh, let's talk about why you're here. We're here to yes. talk about the album. What's going on, man? Oh, dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, that's what we had. Oh shit, I forgot. We had to talk about this nigga shit. Yeah, man, I forgot. Man. We've been having such a cool conversation. I forgot we had to talk about the album. Hey, man. Hey, hey man. Concho, you make music. Uh, yeah, the album is coming, man. Uh, it was Honestly, it wasn't even supposed to be an album. I just wanted to do like one or two, three songs. Yeah. And then my body was saying, no, forget it. Mm, it's going cool. all the way. Mm. Going all the way. Um... I think he has a vision and he has a passion. I think what what people need to understand is this project is actually mine and his project mm. in the sense that like beautiful, beautiful. he's very passionate about the Cesar Alakine concept. He mm. likes he likes what it does, mm. you know, especially in the in the genre, you know. It's opening things up to be a bit more, you know, creative, mm. a bit more, you know, to go deeper, mm. more poetic, mm. you know, you know, more flows, mm. just, you know, more hip hop, you mm. know, which is the one thing, well not more hip hop, but mm. like more rap, mm. you know, mm. which mm. is the one thing that he really likes mm. and he's really passionate about. So yeah. You know, I, I was just trying to do like a few songs and he said, you know, let's just take it to the top. Give What's it, it called? Tracks. When is it coming out? Digital Vibes. Digital Vibes, yes, yes. I'm oh, say, Digital yeah. Vibes. Yeah, yeah, you did say, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when is it coming out, bro? Corrupt <laughs> nigga. When he's done, when he's yeah. done, he's sitting with it. Hey, what is also a difficult one, dog. You'll come with a hit. It's a bafanas. That's how my yona yona yeah 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 yeah. Karo ka thola bolay di do or something. That's when you know it's not on. Yeah, yeah. When he likes it, he goes live same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When he tells that we need to add the trillionana, then you know it's not on. It's just weak. So he takes yeah. So he's he's he, he takes a lot of time in actually like settling into what a project is. So we'll see. I was telling you like off air. I was watching a show that Oskido started doing. Um, it's called Joyride with Oskido. So yeah, yes, yeah, I've yeah. seen. Yeah, you've seen that, right? I've seen it. Yes. So they went to Pori's loft or wherever he's staying. Mm. What Puri's doing for the game is remarkable, man. 
Let me tell you. It's amazing how many people he's putting on, bro. Dog, yes, bro. It's 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 the wildest thing because having been from the outside looking in, you know, um what 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 what's wild for me is to realize that me and him are the same age. Hmm. Right? And the amount of careers he started, the amount of work that he's produced, the amount of talent that he's constantly like trying to put on the map is it's like it's crazy mm. you know what i mean it's one of those things that actually make you realize like at any given time as a person you can take all the glory for yourself yeah you know yeah. you can actually just keep everything to yeah. yourself <clears throat> he could have been alone in that loft or whatever just doing his own thing making his own hits and then saying whatever but like the way he's moving like what he would what he has done for like a mellow and sleazy mm. or what he's done for a young stunner what he's done for a reason mm. you know what he's done for <clears throat> a, a Sir Trill a Dali Wonga what he's done for all these people a Kabza mm. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 the cool thing about him is it'll never be him mm. that tells you what he's done yes. for them. Yes. It'll always be them Which is that'll beautiful. tell you what he's That's done for them. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And 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 that for me is like the big thing. You know what I mean? I mean he's human, he's got his flaws, he's got his mistakes, he's got I'm sure there's a million other people who'd say, Ah, but yeah. he did yeah. That's fine. Yeah. But my point is when I take note of the people that'll come back and say, Yo, this actually happened because of my interaction with that human being. Mm. It's it's something to actually look up to. You know what I mean? It's it's it kind of it kind of gets you thinking. Like you know, is success what you've done for yourself, or is it what you've done for others? Yeah, you know what they say: when God blesses you, you gotta bless others. That's mm. why mm. It's, mm. it's the biggest blessing. Mm. Yeah. You know, so he's he's been like a a, a good learning point when yeah. it comes to that. Like uh, after reason, yourself comes Caesar, the thing. What did you say your name was again? Alakain. Not Caesar Alakain. Sakramami Ashkarain. <laughs> real name? <laughs> Shepherd the Rhyme. Caesar. Caesar is my real name. Caesar, eh? Yes. Oh shit, I can we saw we shot uh, It's the Grand Jury. <laughs> I'm thinking we shot who was uh, Kid X. Bonginkos. Kid X. Bonginkos. I'm thinking it's Bonginkos. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Bonginkos Matlang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. What do you want to be remembered as, man? Um, I want to be remembered as one of the most versatile motherfuckers you've ever come across i think dope is one thing i really really like that but like i think i really want to go down as a versatile person you know, mm -hmm. i think we live in a world where being able to do more than one thing is actually like the norm mm, you yes know? it is it's actually supposed to be the norm you can't just do one thing mm. like why exactly. why are you good at one thing mm. it like it's i i wanna i wanna i wanna do that you know it's kind of like it's what michael jordan did for me you know what I mean like yeah. he killed basketball mm. then he went and killed baseball mm. then he came back and killed basketball I, I, I didn't crazy kill ba he didn't kill baseball I mean he did well for, for a guy it. for a guy that started halfway for a guy that started halfway ah, when the baseball is tough dog. yo come on you dog can't. by the end of his baseball career you I mean, go try and be a TV presenter he, I mean he wasn't oh, great I'll murder it uh, <laughs> I'll kill it oh. 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 I'll kill it <laughs> Ha. But there's auto cue. Which, which, well. which, 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 which show? Which show? Which show? Which show? Which show? Which show? Any show? Which show would you kill, dog? Give me any show. You do idols. I kill Could you it. do what Proverb does? I'd murder it, and not to. He's good at what he does, yeah. but I can do that. <laughs> Give us a link. Give us yeah? a link. Give us a link. I admit, but I, I, not I, not I, Dololo. You can't give us a young man. I admit, I I think, yeah, just one of the most words of the, and also the bravest. Mm. I've yeah, been brave, man. I've had man. to be brave in every stage of my life. Going from the underground into commercial, I had to be brave because there's scrutiny from underground niggas yeah. as well. Going from commercial to like piano, this, this, the, you know, had commercial hip hop. There's, you have to be brave. Fighting you know your I mean? father at 17. You're fighting my father had at 17. Had to be brave. You know what I mean? Like everything, like raising so many yeah. kids. You got to be a fucking brave ass yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I just want to yeah, go down as a bro. brave, versatile motherfucker. Yeah. Bro, when, when I saw that you, 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 like, you know, uh, Caesar, the thing is popping and people are loving you. I was like, it couldn't have happened to a better guy, man. Yes. Thank really you, deserved bro. it, man. I mean, being in the game for so long, bro, Ooh, it's your time, you, man. You know what I mean? Thank you, bro. Yeah. So you are the ones who was looking from afar saying, hey, suffering that one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, and not popped you like, yeah! Was I looking very Arsenal? No, when I see, I'm like, oh shit, he's alive. I was just talking. <laughs> no, I think you, 
we, all of us are the practice. We thought he died in the breakup. <laughs> yeah, man. But having and spent it's time, real. Then it's real, and that's some real ass shit. I think. I think it's. I think it's more. I think it's more mature to look at it from a real perspective because I think it takes you looking at your own scoreboard and saying, actually, something crazy needs to happen. Mm. Yeah, you know, you know when bro. Blackie says, hey, dog, today you must just wake up and just do something crazy. Yeah. Just yeah. shake things up, man. Yeah. Just do something crazy because being normal is whack, dog. Mm. Being normal is whack. Like, just wake up and be Mac G. <laughs> Cheers. Just start shit. <laughs> Every <laughs> week. <laughs> Every don't fucking give a week. Fuck yeah. what they say. Right? Yeah, I don't give a fuck what they Who say. You? <laughs> Just say Angzo <laughs> wanna pambi. Dango. Oksala in the sponsor. <laughs> yeah, just do fucking do something crazy, dog. We live in that world. You can't just be boxed. It's like what you said earlier. Uh, you use the perfect word because now I understand it more because I'm an actor. Yeah, typecast. Oh, yes, you are actor. Be, don't be a typecast human being. Forget actor or artist or rapper or whatever. Just don't be a typecast human being. That's say, it, bro. This is what you do. This is all you do. You know. That's, and that's part of the reason why, man. Some of these girls as well. It's just boring, man. It's just mm. so type cost you know mm. what I mean like, like you take pictures and go to the gym and then what yeah you know let's yeah. talk about f- your philosophy on mm. life tell me what you think of fees must fall mm. who are you voting for mm. you understand what I'm saying like it, it's just that like just don't be a type cost human being dog like there's so much possibility and also we nearly died guys Eish, dog, we, we nearly survived. died dog we're alive people are dying every day dog you still mm. want to be type cast you Eish, still want to be scared about what they're going to say mm. me I could give a fuck about what niggas are saying Eish. right now dog because them same niggas was either hating mm. or laughing at me mm. eight months ago Eish, my you understand dog. what I'm saying so I could give Amen. a fuck about Amen. anybody you know just yeah. do something crazy fuck man you understand it. Yeah. Right, yeah. So you got a question you want to ask him? Nah, nothing, bro. Like, this nigga never has a question. Why journey. do you keep asking him to ask a question? Yeah, no, nah, every episode. episode. You got a question for <laughs> Nah, I got to ask you. <laughs> nah, you know, like, oh, nah, you're a nah. chiller. He's oh, just here to he's start shit. <laughs> he's just here to start shit. You know, like, this, my questions have been asked. You know, he covers a lot. My questions have been asked. Okay, so at least generally, just take. comment. Mm. At least I just take for 30 seconds, dog. Uh, okay, hey. go stand over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, that's a guy. I've got a tweet. Nah, man, shout out to you, dog. Like, your fucking story, it's amazing. You know what I mean? I remember someone that tweeted you that, and you said something so profound. They said, shout out to you for, 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 taking the leap and not giving a fuck about what people say and I think your response was was Mfana the second I stopped caring what other what another man or woman thinks of my journey I landed on the right road to success mm. oh. that shit is fucking legendary bro. shout out to you you inspire us you inspire us shout out bro Kezo yeah. is that what it is Kezo Kezo in your raps Kezo yeah Kezo it's feeling I'm a Kezo Kez I'm a Wala Wad it's feeling I'm a Kezo I don't know. Some shit like that. Is that you? You, 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 you the one who wrote this? Just have a case for Ramadan. No, 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 no. You the one who wrote the verse of the year on on this one. Ah, you know? You'll figure it out. Ah, you're lying. So if you're watching this and you hear my Dumani saying Kezo, you know where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> We are here, podcast and chill, boy. <laughs> what a fucking dick. Bingo.